Hey guys, it's me Nelly. So today I'm gonna try out strobing. So um, I'm just gonna start off with what I used for my eyebrows and my eyelid real quick. I really wanted a natural look that's glowy and so I decided to do my eyebrows with the e.l.f. cream eyeliner and coffee. This has been my holy grail at the moment. Reason being, you don't need to set it, it's quick and it does amazing, amazing job. And you know what? It's inexpensive, so that's a plus. So the next thing I went in with was my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and in Toast. I do have an eyebrow tutorial, so it's the same thing as that. And right here I went in with the NYX Blush and Cinnamon on my Chris and went in with a wet and wild rose goldy color i don't remember the name and i put that on my um lid and after i just used a mascara just to brush off my eyelashes so over here i was explaining that i used my finger in a and i put it on my lid like in a tapping motion i didn't want a lot i just wanted the kind of glow as you can see how my um eyeshadow looks um so i went in here with my mac prep and prime and this is the pink one i can't really remember the full name but it's the pink one and it has some um, some glowy particles in it so for my concealer i'm using my ultra correcting foundation stick in Mo reach mocha and i'm just gonna place this where i have um dark spots like on my forehead right there and anywhere else I want to mute out um my dark areas um I was not going for full coverage so this is perfect perfect this video was supposed to be a talk through but it was so noisy and not good so I decided to do a voiceover so right here I'm taking my flat top brush from elf and I'm just gonna blend it in and I'm not gonna move the product to where I didn't put the foundation I kind of want my skin to pick through some of my imperfections to pick through and that's why I'm not moving the product I'm just blending it in a tapping motion the same place I placed it just blend it and makeup blending is your best friend I'm never gonna get tired of that so cuz my dark spot on my forehead was really visible I'm gonna use my um, my ring finger and pat it lightly so for my highlight I'm gonna be using LA girl concealer in fawn this is my best highlight so far for this month so I'm just going to place it under my eye and the bridge of my nose and I'm going to blend that. So this step is really like a must for me because I haven't been sleeping well lately because of work and like just trying to get myself situated because school's back. So right now yeah <laughs> so right here I'm taking my beauty blender and I just sprayed it with my um, elf setting spray and I'm just gonna blend it then use my fingers to blend more I really want this look to be to look natural so me using my fingers ha um, kind of helps in an easier flawless transition and I'm gonna do the same to the next eye Blend, blend, blend. I got my beauty blender from Marshalls. So I'm just going to blend it with my finger. And be gentle with it. So since I'm going to be strobing, I am not going to contour. So I need to make everything look really flaw 
flawless. So the next thing I'm going to go do here is like I'm going to use my um, Ben Nye powder in Topaz and I'm going to set the under eye concealer. And I'm just basically going to set the rest of my face with it. So right here I'm packing on the powder. Just pack it on. <laughs> And let it cook and sit for a while so right here I'm putting the powder on my jawline kind of like to um, reverse contour because I'm really not gonna contour and you can see it kind of forms like a shadow in between my under eye and where I pla I'm placing the powder right now No, I look crazy, but I'm not done. You're just gonna let that sit and cook and bake or whatever people call it. So right now, I'm gonna go in with my Love Alpha Fiberglass Mascara and just go in and um, put it on my lashes. I really want that. I really want that natural look. So I'm gonna try and like separate my lashes as much as I can. And I'm also going to go in about like two more times so that I can get the intensity I want. So right here, I'm just going to go in again and deepen my eye makeup a little bit. So I'm using the NYX um, Cinnamon Blush and a little bit of the Wet n Wild Rose Gold Color. So after that, I'm going to just brush the excess off and try and blend it to my skin. I love how this makeup looks. It's, it's so effortless. You can see the imperfection. that like I, I just love how it looks. So for my first strobing product, I'm going to go in with the NYX Terracotta. And I'm going to put that where I usually highlight. And I'm just going to go crazy with this. So you just want to put mad highlight. If you get the right highlight, something that is for your skin tone with the light hand, but also go a little heavy, <laughs> you will get this right. So this is my first time doing this, actually. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow. So this eyeshadow has more shimmer. It's more of a rose goldy color. And this is what is going to make this look. I'm just going to place it where I placed the other highlighter. And the last thing I'm going to use is my Revlon Color Stay Bronzer in Sun Kissed. This is the... Last thing I'm going to use, this is really, really shimmery, and you really got to be careful. So I'm just placing it really lightly. So after that, I'm just going to use my blush to tie in everything together so that you can actually see all this strobing I've been doing. For a first timer, I think I did good. Leave a comment, guys, and tell me what you think. I'm going in with my Topaz powder, and I'm putting that under my eye on my jawline just to create a reverse, con reverse contour. And I'm just going to blend everything together so that everything can blend or can transition easily and seam seamlessly. I can't talk today. So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to grab my lip liner in brown suede. And this is from Jordana. And I'm just going to line my lips. And I'm going to use my 
Flake, Flake Crush Maybelline lipstick. And I didn't like how this looked, so I went in with my Just Peachy from Wet n Wild. And that was it. So right here, I'm going to spray myself with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and just set everything together. Then take a brush and blend everything. And I want it to dry real quick because I'm not about that fanning life. <laughs> okay. So over here, I'm just looking at how my makeup turned out. I think I did a good job. If you guys liked it, if you have any tips, leave down below. And yeah, I love it. So I hope you like Don't this. forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Bye.